Hey everyone, welcome back to our discussion of memory. This time we're talking about long-term memory, more specifically explicit memory. So explicit memories are also called declarative memories because they can be described or declared. Uh, many people prefer the term explicit memories, myself included, because this encompasses the types of memory uh, common to you know both humans and animals. Animals don't have the ability to declare because they don't have language. So explicit is technically a, a bit more precise of a term. So examples of explicit memories or declarative memories are things like, I remember watching Keanu Reeves and those John Wick movies, or that you know that Keanu Reeves is the best human being, he's such a nice guy. You can consciously seek out, um, or rather you can consciously seek to store or retrieve these memories, so they're sort of part of your conscious awareness. Okay, so we can further subdivide explicit memories into semantic and episodic. So semantic is conceptual knowledge or facts. So like knowing the entire uh, plot of a movie like Pulp Fiction or knowing that Samuel L. Jackson stars in that movie, that's semantic information. It's just sort of knowledge that's disconnected from, you know, uh, a narrative or a type of story. Just a piece of sort of free-floating information you might not know where you learned it or, or something like that. You just have this information, conceptual knowledge or facts. So on the other side of episodic memory, we have, or explicit memory rather, we have ex episodic memory. This is this, um, kind of the storage and connection of specific times, places, and events in an individual's life. So sort of a story, right? Remembering specific times and places, like knowing what you had for breakfast yesterday, or uh, the order in which you did things, like you went to the bank, then to the store, then you went back home. That's an episodic memory, right? Connections of times, places, and events within your life. A little narrative, a story, right? That's an episodic memory. This gives rise to the conscious experience of recollection. So if I ask you what you did yesterday and you reconstruct that for me, that's your conscious sort of episodic recollection of what you did. This allows us to sort of relive experiences, right? Our memories aren't perfect, but if you recall specific episodes, times, places, things that you had done, you sort of relive that experience, that's you experiencing an episodic memory. So in general, a lot of our memories begin is episodic, right? So you might remember what you did yesterday or what you had for breakfast or what you like to eat. And uh, I mean, the dining hall's not open now, but perhaps you had a favorite station in the dining hall. Um, you know what you ate there the last, you know, few days. Yeah, you, those things start as really contextual, heavy, specific memories. But over time, you lose that resolution, right? You might not remember specific episodes, but you might remember more sort of general semantic information. Like, for example, I know that I like to have pizza as an undergrad. I don't remember any of the specific instances of me getting pizza, really, but I know the fact that I, I used to get it pretty often. So, yeah, memories tend to become more semantic over time in, in nature. You remember generalities about things, but not specific uh, narratives about them. And that's totally normal and, and fine. Okay, that's it for our discussion of explicit memory. I'll see you next time.